Even accounting for the rebellion, such indiscriminate shows of force seem pointlessly excessive. If only you knew how commonplace such scenes have become. Hmm. Are we too late? Over there, someone's coming! who sold her homeland to the Garleans, Yotsuyu. The Viceroy herself, and look behind her, isn't that... <sighs> Filth and squalor everywhere I look, how very dumb. What I wouldn't do for a drink. Come now. You've no reason to look so afraid. You have lived through a quarter of a century of Gallian rule, remember? Tis better to bend with the wind than stand tall and be broken. Therein lies hope. Therein lies freedom. I come before you today seeking affirmation. A heartfelt declaration. You are free to answer me as you see fit, yet even the least among you should know the correct response. Should. A resident of your village, one of your neighbors, mayhap your friend, was detained by the Kojin this morning. They say he was attempting to flee to Kugane. But we both know that simply isn't true, don't we? Have you anything to say? Hmm. Bit slow, this one. Is there anyone more sensible among you? Have any of you anything to say? To swear? My lady, I swear to serve the Empire, to do whatever is asked of me, and never disobey. Ah, well said, that man. Of course, it wouldn't do to simply take you at your word. Kill him. Surely you can do that much. He must be guilty of something or other, or he wouldn't have attempted to flee the Empire. I have a family. Kami, forgive me, Kami, forgive me. Very good. I've always had a soft spot for men like you. Next, I want you to shoot those two over there. Too old to work, you understand. A burden on the Empire. We can't have that. But they're my parents. You can't expect me to...
She's right. They would simply take the villagers hostage. We must consider the wider picture. If we act recklessly, we risk alerting the Garleans to our presence here, making it that much harder for us to work with the local rebels. To say nothing of the reprisals ordinary civilians would be made to suffer. Open your eyes, girl. They are already suffering. Let me go. I am putting an end to this madness. I will approach the village alone and identify myself as a former leader of the rebellion and a known fugitive. They will wish to detain me until they are certain they have learned all I know. Use this time to make your plans. You saw what those monsters did to the villagers. Who knows what they'll do to you, assuming they don't kill you where you stand. We live and die at the pleasure of the Kami. My fate is in their hands and no others. If it be of any comfort, I am no stranger to chains. You can't expect us to stand idly by as a comrade goes marching off to his death. And this is nothing like Kugani. Nor is it like the Reach, Lise, or the Wall. Let him go. Hold out for as long as you can, but remember, noble sacrifices are to remain an absolute last resort. I wish I could say it won't come to that, but only the gods know how we're going to get you and the others out in one piece. A miracle, perchance. A great tower stands to the north and east. Look to its occupants for aid and succor. Together, you may yet find your miracle. Now, leave this place. I must go. Oh. Another idiot like all the rest. I'm beginning to think it may be something fundamental, something intrinsic, something quintessentially dormant to ignore the simple truth. You can't do a damn thing if you're dead. Enough, Yotsuyu! <laughs> well now, this is a surprise. Hear me, Yotsuyu! Cease this farce, here and now, and I shall surrender myself to you. Refuse, and all shall answer to my blade. Bring him to the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> 